and Republican Congressman from Florida, Michael Waltz. Congressman, um, I know that because you served in the war on terror, um, that a story like this, uh, one about uh, Sergeant Major Thomas Paine, really speaks to you. And let's get your reflections on that today. Yeah, thanks, Dana. You know, I'm so thrilled that President Trump is bestowing the Medal of Honor on, on Sergeant Major Payne. These are the types of heroes America needs to be celebrating uh, and needs to hear about uh, because they, they truly operate in the shadows. They are the quiet professionals. Uh, Sergeant Major Payne uh, was on his 17th tour uh, and still going. Uh, we lost Sergeant Major, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Master Sergeant Wheeler that day that's buried in Arlington. But we still have special operators right now as we speak, Dana, in 60 to 80 countries on any given day. This fight isn't over. The extremists will hit us again uh, if they are allowed to. And kind of my mission every day that I wake up and what I call on every American is to, is to be worthy. I wear this bracelet for one of the Green Berets uh, that I lost in combat. But we all need to live up uh, to their sacrifice and their family's sacrifice and be worthy of uh, everything they've done as we work through all these issues as a country, uh, they are out there on that line making sure we never have another 9-11. I want to show a picture of two of the people um, that you lost to, Green Berets, that were under your command, uh, Sergeant First Class Brian Woods and Staff Sergeant Matt Bussino. Um, I know you think about them every day. I want to ask you about the idea of in 2001, after we were attacked, you know, taking the fight to the enemy. And it's 19 years later, and the enemy is much diminished, but not completely eviscerated. How do you try to think, talk to people, especially those in Congress or to your constituents, about the importance of you know, keeping our foot on the gas here to, because we have yeah. to protect ourselves? Well, you know, I mean, sorry, I still get emotional thinking about those those two guys, but uh, and 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 so many others that haven't that haven't made it home, and and they're not, you know, you don't have to wear a, a uniform to serve. There were just so many heroes on 9/11. I was just at VMI, Virginia Military Institute, yesterday with the vice president. That those future leaders, that Corps of Cadets, have no memory of what happened that day. Uh, to, to, your, to your point, you know, and we need to keep telling those stories, whether they're Todd Beamer, uh, you know, saying let's roll and taking on the hostages, whether it's, it's, it's my Green Berets that, that you just mentioned, whether it's Air Force Colonel uh, Penny, who was ordered to take down the flight that eventually crashed in Pennsylvania. She didn't have any weapons on her plane. She decided she was going to ram it before and give her yeah. own life before letting it hit the Capitol. All of those stories, I think we have a duty to continue to tell, but that we also have to remember back, uh, whether it's those terrorists or now, uh, you know, we're all Americans mm -hmm. at the end of the day. They don't care, we the are. enemy's bullets don't care. And that we're all Americans and we need to fight forward and keep them over there and stay forward rather than letting it, that problem follow us home. Well, no one better to talk about it to us today and to our audience. Uh, Congressman Walls, thank you so much. All right. God bless, Dana. Thank you.